Topic. The topic of this video is going to be about the Illuminati and Freemasons. The Illuminati and Freemasons. The topic of this video is going to be about the Illuminati and the Freemasons. The Illuminati and the Freemasons. That's the topic of this video, guys. The topic of this video, guys, is going to be about the Illuminati and the Freemasons. The Illuminati and the Freemasons. Look at this uh, interesting scenery that I'm in right now. Look at the interesting scenery I'm in right now, guys. Sorry if I'm being a little bit quiet. I need to actually start to strengthen up my voice. The topic of this video, guys, is gonna be about the Illuminati and the Freemasons. If you if you've been on my if you've been on my channel you you know that I've been talking a lot about the um a lot about the um the Illuminati and the Freemasons and all that other stuff. They're like a topic that I've been discussing them so much in detail in lots and lots of detail. My I, I did I do think I made a ton of or I already made like videos about the, this this sort of topic. Oh shit, guys! You know what? Last night I didn't even fucking go to sleep, man. I didn't even fucking go to sleep at night, man. I fucking... I was fucking up all night. I didn't even fucking go to sleep. I literally was fucking... I was up all night, man. I couldn't fucking go to sleep and I had to fucking... I just feel like shit. I swear, I'm so... I literally had... I'm, I'm running on no sleep, man. No sleep. Zero sleep, man. I literally had, like, fucking no sleep at night time, man. So I'm just fucking... I'm almost about to like fall onto the ground, but anyway, I gotta get this video made anyway though. The Illuminati guys and the Freemasons is such an interesting fucking topic, guys. The Illuminati and the Freemasons. Look at the scenery I'm in, guys. Fucking hell. I haven't made a video here in ages. But the topic of this video, guys, is gonna be about the Illuminati and the Freemasons. Really, what am I getting at now with this video? I was really trying to tell you guys that I've already made a bunch of videos on the Illuminati and the Freemasons already. It's so difficult to, when you when you talk about the Illuminati and the Freemasons and all that type of stuff. If fucking these types of like videos is so hard to make them because there's so little actual accurate information regarding these types of secret societies, these secret clubs where people where grown men go into like specific areas and lodges and facilities. And they go there and they, they do their meetings and they, they, they have like these very, very special membership cards that they all use. Not cards, Freemasons have rings. I don't know what the Illuminati have. Maybe they have like fucking children's like fetuses that they use to sign into their, their, their secret facilities that they have to, where they eat and rape babies and children and whatever. It's so difficult to fucking make these types of videos, man, about the Illuminati. The Freemasons, the Illuminati, how the fuck can you even get started on making this type of video? It's so difficult because it's such a, it's a massive enigma, man. It's an enigma like who the fuck controls our planet and all that type of stuff. It really is like an enigma, man. It sort of is like an enigma, really. It really is like an enigma, man. It's so difficult to be, to, to, to decipher it. You know? Or it's like types of like enigma. It's like a code that's very hard to break to figure it out. Figure it out perfectly. It's so fucking difficult, guys to figure out like who's like actually um who's like actually controlling the, the planet and the politics of the world and all that type of stuff is fucking difficult man 
it's, so, it's almost nearly impossible actually because all the actual super accurate information all of that gets fucking um, hidden away it's all fucking difficult to figure it out properly and all that type of stuff it's very difficult to figure it out to piece it all together and all that type of stuff to piece it together and to figure it out it's very very difficult man to, to figure out like where it all comes from all these like fucking these like concepts and ideas about like there being like secret secret groups and secret societies and all that type of stuff man it's fucking it's so difficult to piece it together it's so difficult to piece it together man to figure it all out the Illuminati the Freemasons I used to research about this when I was like fucking when I was like a fucking 10 year old kid man when I was like a little boy I used to go onto YouTube and you'd always see videos about the Illuminati the Freemasons but these types of videos were so fucking weird man these videos were so bizarre because they were so weird till I watched because you didn't you didn't really understand what they actually meant these videos about the Illuminati the Freemasons what's that going on about and stuff what the fuck does that mean it's so weird I used to watch these videos when I was like little man I used to watch these videos when I was like literally a fucking little boy man. I swear on the um on the PS3 I used to watch it on there and the videos about the Illuminati the Freemasons and all that type of stuff is so bizarre it's such a weird weird thing these videos I used to watch there you, you everyone should like have like some clue about this as well right these videos about the Illuminati the Freemasons they, they were so common back then especially in the early the, the, the early 2010s up to the 20 up until the 2020s and now 2023 the Illuminati the Freemasons do you remember do you guys remember the coronavirus because I was talking about the 2020s the coronavirus issue man that was so fucking bizarre what the fuck was that about I know that you know David Icke David Icke he was fucking on about that it's like a fucking conspiracy that's created by these secret societies to control everything and to, to run our economy and politics and etc although I actually spoke to people in real life and they said that they had like a family member die from the coronavirus thing so maybe perhaps that might be a little bit nonsense then I don't know maybe perhaps the coronavirus thing was actually real because actually at first I was like denying it I was like it's all bullshit but then I actually was speaking to people about it in real life and they actually told me that it was actually people were dying like they had like family members dying or whatever they had like real life family members who were fucking dying from this type of um the coronavirus issue so maybe perhaps I was it's not just a hoax I don't know I actually, originally I thought it was like a hoax but it's actually because people were talking there was like videos made about it not, not videos but I was actually talking to people in real life I watched David Icke and he made a video a couple of a bunch of videos on the coronavirus and he kind of made me think that's all bullshit but then I spoke to people like in real life in real life I spoke to some people in real life and they were like saying that they had family members die from the coronavirus and they said that it was very specifically it was it was the coronavirus that killed them off so I don't know it's a little bit wishy-washy I don't want to talk too much about the coronavirus because you know the Illuminati the Freemasons that's the topic of this video guys the topic of this video guys is going to be about the Illuminati the Freemasons I wanted to fucking make this video to just sp spill all my beans on it because I, I I was collecting I was doing some research into this since I was like fucking little and 10 years old or something like that like a little dumbass kid I was watching videos on uh, fucking YouTube about the Illuminati and the Freemasons and all that type of stuff and I was like watching these videos man I was watching these videos man on um, fucking YouTube about it I didn't understand anything though when I was like a little boy I didn't really understand anything about it when I was like a little boy, man. This has some videos about the, um... About the Illuminati, the Freemasons and all that type of stuff. These videos were so, like, fucking hard to figure out. It was so difficult to fucking make sense of it all. It was so difficult, man. I couldn't piece it together properly. It was all like a fucking enigma to me when I was little. All I, all I remember when I was little, when I was doing these types of videos, when I was like kind of like trying to research about these types of things, when I was little, all I remember is that I fucking, I got fucking petrified. I got fucking scared. I literally got PTSD. I'm not even kidding around. I got PTSD when I was little. I was trying to do research 
onto the Illuminati, the Freemasons. I got fucking PTSD. I fucking. I remember I used to have some shitty smartphone like the Samsung Galaxy Ace or something. I scratched the back of the battery up because I was so fucking scared. Because I thought the um the secret societies, the Illuminati, the Freemasons. I thought they were gonna fucking get me, man. I thought they were gonna fucking. They were trying to brainwash me and all the symbol, sim their symbology as well. The the one eye thing. The one eye, the eye of providence, the eye of Horus, and all that type of stuff. Do you know about that? <laughs> Fucking hell, the wind, man. The eye of Horus, the eye of providence, and all that type of stuff. That's what... You start to notice their symbolism as well. I remember, especially when I was like a lot younger, I used to fucking watch these like, conspiracy theory videos about the Illuminati and the Freemasons. One of the things that would always get brought up was the fact that if you look at these like cartoon kids shows, kids cartoon shows, or whatever, you fucking see like all the Illuminati things, like the other uh, one eye and the the Freemasons, their symbology as well, the symbolism that they have and that they use and all that type of stuff. You see it in the kids shows and the cartoons and fucking everything, isn't? Uh, and people would say it's just a coincidence. It can't be a coincidence because it's so consistent. It was it's always the same types of symbols, same types of logos, and all that type of stuff. That's not a coincidence, guys. That's not a coincidence. It's always like the same fucking symbolic, cryptic messages that keep getting brought into these types of like kids shows and movies and cartoons. The same eye of Horus. The same things. The same messages and symbols and symbology. It's so bizarre. And I was, I, all I remember when I was little, when I used to watch these fucking um, Illuminati, Freemason conspiracy videos, was that I fucking, I used to watch these videos and I used to see like the one eye of Horus and all that type of stuff in the Freemasons. The Freemasons and all that type of stuff. And I used to watch these videos and I was so confused, man. I used to watch these videos when I was a lot little, a lot younger, man. And I was so fucking confused. Cause I used to see the fucking, the one eye of Horus thing. The eye of Horus and the eye of Providence. I used to see it when I was like a little boy, man. I used to see it when I was like a little boy. I was watching these, um, these conspiracy theory videos. I used to watch it when I was like a lot little younger. I used to watch these videos when I was a lot younger, man. When I was like a little boy. I used to watch these conspiracy theory videos, man. When I was like a little boy, man, I used to watch it. It blew my mind when I was a little boy. I used to watch these like, videos when I was like a lot younger, man. On the uh, PS3 and all that type of stuff. I used to watch it on YouTube. A little bit uh, the Freemasons, the Illuminati. I couldn't make sense of it when I was like a little kid. I really couldn't, I was trying to figure it out when I was like a little boy. Couldn't really make sense of it, I was so confused and lost on it. I couldn't make sense of it at all when I was like a little boy. Man. But now I'm a lot older, looking back, all I can remember is that I used to, like these conspiracy theory videos, they weren't all nonsense. They were actually showing you like the real symbolic messages they get put into all these kids shows and all that type of stuff. Into the kid shows and into the fucking movies and cartoons and all that type of stuff. Man. They were actually showing you. They are showing you the fucking, um, the symbolic messages, the cryptic messages, all that type of stuff that gets put into the kid shows. Looking back, I was so, like, fucking petrified. I was so scared. I actually used to have fucking. My heart would literally race. I'm not even kidding around. I was like a little boy watching these fucking Illuminati conspiracy theory videos. My heart would literally race. I'm not even kidding around, man. I'd fucking, I'd have like this petrified feeling inside of me, this petrified feeling. I couldn't even fucking go to sleep. I remember I was so like fucking PTSD and all that type of stuff, man. I fucking couldn't even go to sleep at night. Anyway, but back to the topic of the city of the Illuminati and the Freemasons, man. I, I used to fucking watch all those conspiracy theory videos about them, man, when I was little. I used to see the, the if you watch those conspiracy theory videos, you fucking you see the um you see like the one eye of Horus thing and all that type of stuff. You see it in like the um if you watch those conspiracy theory videos. The Illuminati videos, those conspiracy theory videos on you. If you if you ever, if you ever watched any of that, I know that some of you probably watching this video, you probably watched it. Those videos, man, those like those conspiracy theory videos. 
if you ever watched them, they would you would see all the symbolic messages, all the cryptic messages, and all that type of stuff that would get put into the fucking kids shows. The one eye, of course. I keep mentioning that. That's so weird. That's like linked to the other, uh, the Freemasons. Oh, not not the Freemasons, to the Illuminati, the one eye of Horus thing. The eye of providence and all that type of stuff, that's linked to the fucking Illuminati, to the Freemasons. I also remember when I was like a lot younger, it wasn't just the uh, fucking one eye of Horus, it was all these other messages, the 666, that like little weird devil sign thing, man. What the fuck is that about, man? Do you, do you guys remember that? What the fuck is that about? Do you guys remember that? You cross, you get your finger like that, you just like sixes. It's like three sixes, what's that about? It's such a fucking mystery to me. All these fucking weird ass symbol, symbolic messages and all that type of stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about, man. All that weird shit, man. It's so fucking weird. I used to see it in the kitchen. You'd see like popular musicians like Rihanna and Drake. They would do these weird symbolic messages, man. What's it all about? It was all fucking weird. It's so fucking weird, man. I never, I couldn't piece it together when I was a little boy, man. I was so fucking petrified of it. It was literally fucking, I had PTSD, I swear, I couldn't even go to sleep. I remember, I used to watch these fucking Illuminati conspiracy videos when I was a lot younger. Freemasons, the Illuminati, they're, they're, they control everything and they're gonna, they're gonna ruin everything and they're gonna destroy the world. I used to think that as well when I was a lot younger, man. I used to fucking watch these types of conspiracy theory videos on a PS3 when I was like a little boy. It's so fucking insane. I used to watch it when I was little, man. And it fucking shocked me, man. I couldn't go to sleep at night, I swear. I literally had problems going to sleep at night. It was so bizarre to me. Like, I, don't, I couldn't make sense of it. Where did it all... Those symbolic messages and these, like, these fucking... These conspiracy theories and all that. Is it, a lot of people just think it's all just a bunch of schizophrenic bullshit. Like, a lot of people would say that it's all nonsense. I don't know. It's hard to call it nonsense because we know the Freemasons, they're actually a real organization. They're not just a fucking... It's not a conspiracy that the Freemasons are actually real and they're controlling things and they have like lodges and these facilities that they go to. And they're like big fat. They're, they're, very, they're like huge organizations and all that type of stuff, man. It's not a conspiracy. It's not a conspiracy, man. Illuminati and the Freemasons and all that, they're actually fucking real. They're actually a fucking real and stuff out there somewhere in the world. It's so bizarre to me, man. That the Freemasons for sure, they're real. The Freemasons are fucking real, man. <laughs> the fucking real man. The Illuminati, the Freemasons and all that the stuff, it's not a coincidence. It's not a fucking coincidence that you see all their symbolic messages in all the movies and the cartoons and the kid shows. That's not a fucking coincidence, man. It's fucking real, but so many people don't fucking want to believe it, man. So many people, when I, when I, when I talk about, like, conspiracy theories, you're just gonna think, you're just gonna see me as being fucking mentally ill or some dumb shit like that, man. It's fucking, it's 100% it's facts, man. All of the Illuminati stuff, the Freemasons are fucking real. You can't fucking, it's not a conspiracy that the Freemasons are real. <laughs> You got, you can literally, if you're in England, you can go to their fucking lodges, man. You can literally go and see where they are and see all their ceremonies and all that type of stuff. If you get into their, if you're, if you're allowed into their organization. They're fucking real. It's not a fucking con co conspiracy about, about them that they're fucking real and they fucking control everything. Maybe that, some people think that it's just a gentleman's club, basically. If you're dealing with, like, it's like, especially with Freemasonry, it's so com compartmentalized. It's like a pyramid scheme. If you're dealing with the people at the bottom of this organization, it's gonna seem like it's just like very mundane. You're not gonna see anything insane if you're just dealing with the people that are like at the bottom of this like organization. Fucking hell, man. I swear. I'm running on no sleep, man. Fucking hell, man. I have like, there's no sleep in me, man. I swear. I didn't go to sleep that night. I feel like I'm just gonna fall onto the ground and collapse, man. Fucking hell. I remember when I used to go to this, this is like all like stories, man. I was secondary school, fucking hell. I used to go to secondary school. Anyway, whatever. Or high school if you're from America anyway, but I fucking, I, I, I used to like not get any sleep and I was so fucking, I always felt like I was gonna die. Just like that right now. Anyway, back to the topic of this video, man. I wanted to not talk about fucking, oh, the fucking, the Freemasons. Look at that, there's old school over there and stuff like that. 
I wanted to. Oh, can you see that? It's all the way over there. No, I don't want to go there right now. But back to the topic of this video, the Freemasons. If you on the surface level, it's always the surface level. That's what that's what gets so many people like, like falsely believing that there's nothing like sinister behind these groups and organizations and cults. If you're gonna look at things from the surface level. If you're going to look at the people at the bottom of these types of organizations, of course it's going to seem like it's very mundane bullshit. It's not going to seem like it's anything serious, anything worth considering or taking seriously. Obviously, if you're looking at the surface level, if you're dealing with the people at the bottom of these organizations, you're not going to get any type of like fucking real insights into these groups and what they're all about and their ideologies and their beliefs. You're just, even, you know, fucking Albert Pike, you know, the Freemasons, they fucking do. One of like, you know, if you, if, you, if, you're, if you know anything about the Freemasons, you should know about someone called Albert Pike. The guy fucking said that he deliberately like fucking, he deceives the groups it's all like deception and all that type of stuff it's all about like deception and all that type of stuff he fucking um what's his name the um the guy at Halbert Pike he even admitted it he said that the Freemasons they deliberately give you like false like uh, messages false symbols false messages and symbology and all that type of stuff to deceive you and all that it's actually they literally admitted one of the um one of like the Freemasons the high ranking members of that like of the Freemasons, they actually fucking admitted it. They admit that it's all like, they give you like these like false like pieces of information. They deliberately mislead you and all that type of stuff. They take you down the wrong path deliberately. They deliberately give you the wrong pieces of information so you don't understand anything properly. It's all like, they all like, it's fucking, um, what's his name? Albert Pike, he fucking admitted this. It's not a fucking, um, so how can it be considered a conspiracy theory? How can that can be considered a conspiracy theory then? If the fucking um, Albert Pike, the guy in the fucking this side, if you know if you know anything about the Freemasons, you should know about someone called Albert Pike. And the guy fucking he fucking said it himself that the, the Freemasons they they did they're deliberately gonna take you down the wrong path and all that type of stuff, man. They're gonna take you down the wrong path. And they're not gonna give you any of the right correct information. They're going to take you down the wrong path. They're going to mislead you deliberately and on purpose so you don't understand anything properly. It's kind of insane. It's actually very fucking insane. But yeah, the Freemasons, obviously on the surface level, it's going to seem like it's all this fucking mundane bullshit. Like on the surface level, it doesn't seem like it's fucking... It's anything to be like taking seriously or considering properly or anything like that. It seems like it's all just mundane bullshit. It seems like it's just little gentlemen's clubs and all that type of stuff. Like the Freemasons, the Illuminati and all that type of stuff. They're all just a bunch of gentlemen's clubs. It's a gentlemen's clubs is where old people come together and they just suck each other off. I don't know. Maybe they do that as well, but I don't know. There's something more sinister about it or I think so. I definitely think so. I know for, the, for sure the Freemasons. I know for sure the Freemasons. They are um, very, very, um, they're up to no good. I know that for sure. Because they even admit that, that they're, uh, if you know Albert Pike, he made a bunch of predictions about World War One and World War Two and World War Three. There's going to be World War Three apparently and stuff. And he said that we're going to unleash the nihilists and the atheists and they're going to create all these social problems in the not so distant future and all that type of stuff. It's so fucking bizarre, man. It's very, very bizarre once you think about it. I wonder how it all adds up. I wonder how it fucking all adds up the fucking the Freemasons, all these conspiracy groups, conspiracy theory people, and all that type of stuff. How does it all add up? Man, it fucking does my head in, man. I fucking, it's so insane to think about this. It does my head in, man. I can't properly even, like, begin to think about this. It's so insane. The Freemasons, the Illuminati, and all that. The Freemasons are fucking sinister. If you think they're just a gentleman's club, look at, read about um, Albert Pike. Re look at like all these like fucking insane things Albert Pike was saying in his fucking letters and his books. Re read the, their books, their literature. It's so fucking twisted. They see you as fucking like, um, as cattle, man. They see you like as fucking sheep, man. If you read their books and the literature, they see you as like, um, they see you like fucking, um, and dogs and sheep and all that type of stuff. If you read their, um, if you read the literature and the books and all that type of stuff, they see you like a fucking, um, the Freemasons, they're fucking, um, they're very, very sinister, man. 
they see you like fucking sheep to be herded and to be taken to the slaughterhouse. They see you as like a resource. That's so insane. They see you as like a resource. It's so fucking insane. Man. They see you as a resource to be like kind of taken advantage of and all that type of stuff. They see you as like a fucking resource. That's so fucking insane, man. That they see you as like a fucking resource. They see you as like a resource. They don't see you as like um as like an actual human being as a person. They see you as like a fucking resource. These um the Freemasons for sure. If you read their fucking literature, Albert Pike he wrote a book called Morals and Dogma. They're not a fucking gentleman's club. These guys are fucking um very very um sinister man. They're very very sinister, twisting, pulling strings behind the scenes. It's so fucking bizarre. If you think they're just a gentleman's club, you gotta fucking um read their liter literature. They had, they wrote quite a bunch of books, man. I know for sure. I know for sure Albert Pike he wrote a book called The Morals and Dogma and all that type of stuff. If you read their literature, you can see how twisted everything is, man. You can see the fucking where all these like fucking symbolic messages come from in the movies and the cartoons. It all comes from the uh, the Freemasons and the Illuminati and all that type of stuff. These fucking people, man. They're it's not a gentleman's club. If you read the literature, their literature, they fucking tell every. They tell you that they're manipulating everything behind the scenes and we're, we're none the wiser and all that type of stuff. It's fucking insane, man. The Freemasons, the Illuminati, the Illuminati, the Freemasons. That's what this, this video is about. The topic of this video is about the, the Freemasons, the Illuminati and the Freemasons. There's other groups as well. There's the Bilderberg group and there's like all these other like organizations and secret societies and all that type of stuff. There's so many different like types of cults and groups and all that type of stuff. It's so bizarre. It's hard to piece it together properly. There's all of these fucking secret societies and groups and organizations, man. What the fuck? It's so hard to fucking bring all the uh, all the information together in a nice way. It's so bizarre to me that people they just fucking brush it all off. They just see it as a fucking the free. They're just a gentleman's club. Why? Have you read their literature? Have you read them out about Albert Pike, Morals and Dogma? These guys are fucking. They see you as like a. They see people as like a resource to be manipulated and used for their own good. It's fucking quiet. You, I don't know. Maybe people. Maybe they deserve to rule the planet. Then I don't know. Fair enough. You know the America. The, um in. The, in the US of A, like the president, all the, the all the founding fathers of America, they were all fucking Freemasons. Do you guys know about that? As all these, all these very important political people, they were a part of this type of Freemasonic organization. It's so fucking. So are they just a gentleman's club? You gotta be fucking. You have to have like two brain cells if you if you're gonna think it's just a gentleman's club. If all these fucking very important political people, the founding fathers of um. America, they were fucking Freemasons, all of them, George Washington, I know for sure, most of them, maybe a couple of them weren't, but most of them weren't, it's fucking insane, they, 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 so, are they, the Freemasons, are they just a gentleman's club, are you fucking kidding me, it isn't, it isn't just, um, again, read the liter literature, read about, like, um, you know, Albert Pike, he wrote about the book called Morals and Dog, he wrote a bunch of literature, Albert Pike fucking says it himself, he says that the Freemasons, they deliberately take you down the wrong path in life, and they manipulate you, they give out false messages and information, so you don't learn about their true origins, their true history, it's so fucking bizarre to me that, most of us, we don't even fucking pay attention to this in fucking anything, man. A lot of us, we don't even pay attention to any of these types of things, man. It's fucking insane. It's, it can't just be a gentleman's club. It's so fucking stupid, man. So many people, the Freemasons, the Illuminati, and all that. It's just a gentleman's club. It's fucking dumb shit, man. It's not a gentleman's club. How can it be a gentleman's club if the fucking founding fathers were Freemasons and etc. and all that type of stuff? I don't want to keep blabbering on about that though, but, but you know, back to the topic of the video, man. The Illuminati and the Freemasons, man, they're fucking bad news. You see their messages, you see it all in the movies, in the cartoons, in the music. Fucking Rihanna and Drake and all that type of stuff. Rihanna and Drake, you see the fucking, the eye of Horus, what's that about, man? Do you see that shit? You see that shit everywhere, man. That's not a coincidence. How the fuck can that be a coincidence? You see that shit? I saw, when I was little, I saw that in Spongebob, man. I swear, man. I was watching Spongebob when I was like a little boy. I saw the same, the Freemasonic shit. And the symbolic messages and all that. I fucking, I saw the Freemasons and their Illuminati symbol shit. I saw all of that shit in the fucking Spongebob cartoon. Out in Mickey Mouse, man. Fucking in Disney. Disney has got so much fucked up shit, man. If you watch those, if you if you know anything about those Disney movies, the cartoons and whatever, and the movies and etc. There's so much fucking, there's so much insane shit about Disney and the movies and the cartoons that they make. It's so weird. All the fucking sexual messages, the symbolic messages inside of their movies and cartoons and all that type of stuff. What the fuck is that about, man? 
man. Disney literally is so fucking disgusting. And if he actually, if he spent time like going through all the symbolic messages in their movies, cartoons, it's so disgusting. It's actually quite hilarious. Actually, I remember in one of the um the um in one of the Disney movies, there was like um fucking there was like a fucking um there was like a pornographic scene with like a naked woman inside of like this type of kids movie cartoon it's so weird all that stuff it's not a coincidence guys these guys they're fucking the illuminati the freemasons are fucking manipulating you man they're fucking read their literature it's not a gentleman's club man the freemasons the illuminati how the fuck can that be a gentleman's club man it can't be a gentleman's club if they're fucking if you read their literature it's fucking insane it's not a gentleman's club if it was a gentleman's club you would fucking you would fucking you know if it was a gentleman's club they fucking you would the founding fathers wouldn't be a part of this organization so many important political people wouldn't be a part of this organization man it's so fucking bizarre to me and the fucking you see their messages all that fucking weird shit inside the movies and the cartoons and the in the music videos the, the one eye of horror sing all that type of stuff and what the fuck you see it so consistently that's not a fucking coincidence man it's so hard to get to the bottom of this mystery scooby-doo mystery i don't know Scooby Doo, imagine like it's like it's, it's like it's that, but it's like with, but in real life, it's, it's like we were dealing with like um very deranged like um pedophiles and like um serial killers and rapists and all that type of stuff that are, that are running around in the background and we're not even paying attention. It's kind of very insane, man. Literally, literally, I'm not even kidding around. I don't want to mention um you know Jeff, uh, you know Ep. I don't want to mention that name. It's kind of insane. But literally, like, you know, like, behind the scenes, like, literally, you, you, there's, like, um, pedophiles. There's fucking serial killers running around behind the scenes, controlling everything. It's not kind of fucking insane psychopaths, man. It's fucking... That's what David Icke says. He's fucking right about that, man. He's fucking got people that are, like, really... The Illuminati, the Freemasons, man. You feel everything about them. You feel their influence. You feel them in, in like, in the cartoons, the movies. In the music videos, they see Rihanna, Drake doing that one. I think that's not a coincidence, guys. How can that be a coincidence? It's so consistent. You see it so consistently at home. In the movies, in the cartoons, and all of that type of stuff. The one eye of Horus, all these other types of creepy symbolic messages. It's so consistent. If it's consistent, it can't be a coincidence, guys. Guys, hopefully you don't have like two brain cells. Hopefully you're understanding what I'm saying. Hopefully you guys, you're not fucking stupid about this. How can it be a coincidence? If it a coincidence, is it a coincidence that you keep seeing the same messages, the same like gestures, the same like fucking one eye of Horus, all that type of stuff? Is that a coincidence, guys? I don't think so. It's a fucking fact that there's like all these secret societies and shit and they're controlling everything behind the scenes. That's not a fucking coincidence, guys. That is a fucking fact. That is fucking factually true. That is facts. That is fucking facts. It's so insane that nobody even bothers to pay attention to any of this. Oh, well, but Stone, that's on you, though, to figure it out. If you want to... Like, man, I was looking into this when I was, like, fucking 10 years old, man. Fucking a little boy. I was looking into the fucking Freemasons, the Illuminati. I was trying to figure out what they're all about, man. And it's so difficult. I, re I, I watched so many different, like, um lecture videos, podcasts. I spent, like, like almost, like, 50, like, so much time and energy, man. When I was, like, fucking... When I was like 10 years old, when I was like a teenager, I spent so much time and energy as well fucking trying to research about it, man. It's so difficult to figure it out. Piecing it all together is so fucking hard, man. It's so difficult, man. To fucking figure it out. To piece it all together, to get, come to, to get to the bottom of this fucking gigantic, colossal mystery. of this mystery is so difficult guys the freemasons the illuminati it's not just obviously it's not just this it's not just them there's all these other people that are behind the scenes these other groups the bilderbergs the skull and bones all these rich families all these fucking insane people man. it's so funny man that um you know behind the scenes literally um serial killers and uh, rapists and pedophiles are running everything it's so fucking insane man Maybe even aliens, grey aliens, pedophiles, serial killers, rapists, they're running everything. I, I, I don't I actually 100% believe that. I'm not even, this is not just me trying to be satirical. 100% believe that. You know, behind the scenes, grey aliens, actual extraterrestrial creatures, 
and pedophiles and serial killers and rapists they're controlling everything behind the scenes that's not i'm not being satirical i 100 percent believe that for sure for sure I, after all the research that i've been doing since i was like fucking little and a teenager and now 20 years old i 100 percent believe guys for sure I think that the grey aliens, these extraterrestrial creatures and stuff, and the pedophiles and the rapists and the serial killers, they're controlling everything behind the scenes. It's so insane. It's such it's so bizarre to think about that. That this fucking um grey aliens, pedophiles, serial killers, rapists, they're controlling everything behind the scenes. The Illuminati, the Freemasons, you see their messages, their symbolic messages and everything in the movies and the cartoons and all that type of stuff. You see their like symbolic messages, man. You see it in the fucking the movies and the cartoons and everything like that. It's so bizarre to me how no one can even like bother to like pay attention to it. You see their messages and the symbolics, the messages, the cryptic messages and stuff, the one eye of Horus and all that type of stuff in the in the movies and the cartoons. You see it, the stuff in the movies, the cartoons. And the, you see it in the, um, in the TV shows as well. Definitely in the music videos as well and stuff. And all that type of stuff. It's all that weird stuff, man. You see, like, the one eye of Horus and all that type of stuff. What's that about, man? It's not a coincidence. It cannot be a coincidence if it's so um, consistent. It can't be a coincidence if it's so freaking um, consistent. Man. If it's super consistent, how can that be a coincidence? How can that be a coincidence and stuff if it's super consistent? It's very, very consistent. How can that be a coincidence? All the symbolic messages, the one eye of Horus and all that type of stuff. The one eye of Horus and all that type of stuff, man. Can that be a fucking coincidence? If it's so consistent, and the Freemasons and all that stuff, the Illuminati, they put their messages in the movies and the cartoons. How can that be a coincidence, guys? You keep seeing the same messages, the one eye of Horus, all the Illuminati shit. You see it all the time, all in all the movies, cartoons, TV shows. That's not a coincidence, guys. It's a fucking. It's factually true that these conspiracies are real and etc. And the Illuminati, the Freemasons, they're real and they're doing everything behind the scenes. It's not fucking, it's not, it's not fucking, it's not fucking bull. It's not a conspiracy, guys. It's all factually true. The Freemasons and the Illuminati and all that type of stuff, these people, their history is so like obscured, it's so difficult to trace where they actually are and what they're all about. Albert Pike, read their literature, the Freemasons, the Albert Pike, he actually said, he, did, he even said himself that they deliberately send out false information, they give you, they put, put you down the wrong, push you down the wrong path, so you don't connect the dots properly, it's so insane, it's fucking insane, man. That nobody even bothers to bat an eyelid at all of this, it's so, like, all of this is so insane. Now behind the scenes, aliens, grey aliens, pedophiles, serial killers, rapists, they're controlling everything. It's kind of very insane. And nobody is none the wiser, it's so fucking bizarre to me. And stuff like that. All of these things that are going on behind the scenes. All these sorts of things that are going on behind the scenes. All these sorts of things are going on behind the scenes. It's quite insane, man. And nobody's even paying attention to it. All these sorts of things that are going on behind the scenes. The Freemasons, the Illuminati. All these conspiracy theory videos. I used to watch when I was little about the Freemasons, the Illuminati. It's not fucking... It's a hundred percent true that these creatures, entities, well, they, actually, I'm not going to be talking about the aliens or grey aliens or whatever. I'm going to talk about the, the Freemasons, the, the Illuminati, and them, these the secret societies, these cults, these groups. It's not just David Icke, Alex Stone. So many people try so hard to reveal the fact that these people, these like elite secret societies, are actually real, and they're 
pushing, pulling the strings behind the scenes of everything. It's kind of, it's so difficult to piece it all together, connect these dots, because the Freemasons, the Illuminati, they cover their own tracks. They don't, they deliberately send out false information, mislead you, push, pull you, push you down the wrong path. Even Albert Pike, read the Freemasons, their literature. Albert Pike says that he, they, 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 they give you false information so you don't figure them out. It's so fucking insane, man. It's so insane, man. Fucking hell. These secret groups, these societies, they're actually real. And all that type of stuff. It's impossible to piece it all together to connect these dots properly, man. It's so difficult to piece it all together. I've been watching like conspiracy theory videos since I was a little boy, man. Fucking little boy. I used to watch the um, Illuminati videos when I was like fucking little. I used to watch these conspiracy theory videos, Illuminati videos, since I was like a little boy. And I couldn't, I'm still ignorant about all of it. Still, still, I'm ignorant. I haven't, it's so, it's nearly, even after like tons and tons of research, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, trying to figure out what they're all about, it's nearly impossible. It's so hard to piece piece all the information together, to connect the dots. The, the Freemasons, if you read Albert Pike and his literature, the Freemasons, their literature, they tell you that they deliberately send you down the wrong path. They mislead you, give you false information so you don't figure them out. Damn, it's quite insane. Hopefully you guys really carefully think about this, and I think the video's about to end. Yeah, that's about it.